Yes, Mr. Thompson, I realize that. I'm also aware of that. Now, listen to me. The boathouse was set for demolition anyway. Now, you don't seem to understand. See, that hole has to be filled this morning. Now, before someone gets hurt. No, it can't wait. No, that is not good enough. I tell you what you do, then. You get the head of the commission on the phone. You make sure he does. My, my. Heads are starting to roll early this morning. You've no idea how early. Apparently, the uh, Coastal Commission never sleeps in its endless vigilance to keep our shoreline safe. Well, I thought that was your responsibility. You did order the landfill for this morning. Yes. For some reason, the commission stopped the trucks. Say what? All six of them just sitting out there waiting. Waiting till they send their engineers out here to make some kind of impact study. I can't believe this. What are they, they going to do? I don't know what they're going to do. They're trying to make some uh, in-depth report, that's all, in the truest sense of the word. Well, Cece, we can't have them digging around out there. You've got to stop them. What do you think I am trying to do? Well, try harder. Don't you realize what this could mean? I know this is the most romantic thing I've done since the dig in Egypt. Will you keep your mind on what's at hand here? We're not looking for King Tut. I wasn't either. Just a couple of cute archaeologists. Here. Romance this. Thanks. I mean, look at this mess. How do you figure? How do you figure this? I mean, why would a guy blow up his own boathouse? Well, I'd figure him to be guilty as charged. Yeah, well, there's being guilty and there's looking guilty. We need proof. This isn't enough proof? Honey, we need a body. We need a corpus. How are we gonna get down there and find it? 